one of the things that has famously been about, you know, famously in this in this community, Sudbury is some rhetoric around parent involvement that says parents should be at a distance in a way. So what's the sensibility at, at Arts and Ideas Sudbury regarding parents? Parents are almost paying us to not know what their kids are doing. We find ah. that students <laughs> really thrive when they are separated from the self that their parents know their strengths mm -hmm. and who they are really can arise out of them once they have that privacy. So we really do maintain quite the wall amongst what, what kids do here at school and parents. There are times though, where parents mm -hmm. can be utilized field trips, possible events that we have. We have an event called talk abouts that happen roughly two times a year. And those are all parent focused so that parents can come and eat some of our delicious chili made by Caroline and talk about their anxieties and their experiences at the school. So we do have a lot of support for parents in that sense, social media accounts, ways that they can get connected that mm -hmm. aren't necessarily being at school and knowing what their kids are doing. But we do find that that wall is very important for kids to be themselves. So we do try to maintain that as much as possible. And parents don't know what happens as far as day to day. They're not involved in judicial cases. We don't pull them aside and say, hey, your kid left their shoes behind today or anything like that. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr. <laughs>